Hey everyone, Rob Alvey with Theme Park Review here and we are at Epcot's Food and Wine Festival. Now, with all of the events you have in the fall season here in Orlando, Epcot's Food and Wine is, is by far my favorite. Um, it's opening day of the festival. If you click the link in the description of this video to see more photos and reports from Epcot's 2013 Food and Wine Festival. We are actually in the Ocean Spray Cranberry Bog. And uh, I'm here with Rod, and Rod works for Ocean Spray, works for the growers. Can you tell us just a little bit about what we're standing in and, and the bog here? Yeah, this is to represent a real cranberry bog that would normally be in uh, the northern states of the United States, Massachusetts, New Jersey, Wisconsin, Washington, Oregon. And we're representing what a cranberry bog would look like so that people that are walking through Epcot, especially during the Food and Wine Festival, can learn about cranberries and learn how they're grown. And if you walk through the rest of the uh, displays here, you'll see other plants with the signs on them about where your food comes from. Cool. We're going to take a walk with Rod over here and sort of check out the bog. Come on, Rod. Yeah. Let's, let's go. All right, Rod. So I am I'm wading through right now. This is pure just cranberries and water. Is that right? That's right. These are cranberries just on the surface of the water. And this is trying to show people that this is how we harvest cranberries. It's the easiest way to get the cranberries off of the cranberry plants. So that's what we have here. So it's the cranberries are only just a couple layers deep. And you can see, here's what they look like. Oh, wow. Yeah. So can I, can I actually touch them? Is, yes, that, yep. is that hygienic for me to do? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, so wow, these, that's cool. when these are picked from the bog now, they'll go to our ocean spray facilities. And there they'll be actually washed and sorted and gotten rid of any sticks or anything that's left. And then they go right into a bin and then they get frozen. Excellent. And after they're frozen, we turn them into juice, into craisins, and sauce, and other products. Awesome. I'm definitely glad to hear they've been washed, especially after yeah. I've been wading through them. That's right. It's it's funny because it's like it's it's thick. It's yeah. it's a lot thicker than you know. Like if, if you look around, I mean, first of all, there's there's a lot of cranberries in this bog. Yeah. There's I mean, just... 500,000 cranberries in this piece right here. Wow, that's so, crazy. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, in a in normal bog, underneath underneath the, the berries in the water would be the cranberry plants. So what we do is we flood up the cranberry plants and then we have a tractor that drives through and knocks the berries off of the plants and then all the berries float to the surface of the water. Cool. And so and the cranberry plants are resilient and they're very flexible so you can walk on them, drive a tractor and they're just fine. So a so, qu couple questions yeah. for you. Do you have a favorite ocean spray product? My favorite is cran grape. Cran grape? I'll be honest, yep, I love that one. So it's very simple and great, huh? <laughs> and it's a good Concord flavor and a good cranberry flavor. Now, have you gotten a chance to walk around food and wine much here? Uh, a little bit, yeah. And actually, uh, this, the Scottish uh, kiosk is probably the one that I think looks the most interesting right now because you expect Scottish uh, specialties to be kind of uh, disgusting, but they look great. Right. Is that, <laughs> is that the one they have the vegetarian haggis or something this yeah, year, though? That's, yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's right. I didn't even know that was possible. So. I know. <laughs> All right. This is uh, this has actually been a lot of fun, yeah. and uh, all right, here we are, food and wine.